Want healthier, stronger, shinier hair? Tired of products that don't work for coily or kinky hair? Meet 12 Tribes, the vegan hair care line designed for you. Our products are made with love for your gorgeous coils. We offer hair growth butters, oils, shampoos, and hairsprays. These products help your hair grow long, thick, and shiny. Imagine a hair care line that's 100% vegan and perfect for coily hair. No more guessing if it's really going to work for you. Our butters are rich and nourishing, feeding every strand. Our oils are lightweight but powerful, sealing in moisture without greasy residue. Shampoos and butters leave your hair clean and soft, never stripped. What sets us apart? Our dedication to your hair's needs. No harsh chemicals, just effective, natural ingredients. And the results speak for themselves. Start your journey to healthier, shinier hair today. Visit our Etsy shop, Lisa Crafts. Click the link in the description below. Give your hair the care it deserves. Join our satisfied customers and see the difference. You know, for many years, I had heard the Earth's core is slowing down. It's getting slower and slower each year. But I never thought much about it. Well, they said it has slowed so much that Earth's core is now moving backwards. Now, this story, y'all, I saw a day ago. And I'm like, I don't know if I want to do this one. But no, I changed my mind. I'm going to do this one. So deep inside of the Earth, they said, is the core, which rotates independently of our spinning planet, like a top whirling around inside a bigger top, shrouded in mystery. The inner core has intrigued researchers since the discovery by, yeah, well, oh yeah, the Danish people discovered it. Okay, whatever. <laughs> you Johnny come latelys didn't discover anything. So anyway, um, you know, they were looking at the rotation, the speed, the direction, and it has been the center of a decades long debate. A growing body of evidence suggests the core spinning has changed dramatically in recent years. But scientists have remained divided over what exactly is happening and what it means. Part of the trouble is that Earth's deep interior is impossible to observe or sample directly. Seismologists have gleaned information about the inner core's motion by examining how waves from large earthquakes that ping this area behave. Variations between waves of similar strength that pass through the core at different times enable scientists to measure changes in the inner core position and calculate its spin. So they're saying the innermost layer is 400 miles wide that's how big the core is. That is huge. So differential rotation of the inner core was proposed as a phenomena back in the 1970s and 80s. But it wasn't until the 90s when seismologists' uh, evidence was published. So the researchers argued over how to interpret these findings. As a result, studies which have followed over the next years and decades disagree on the rate of rotation and also the direction with respect to the mantle. Okay. So some even proposed that the core did not rotate at all. So in other words, they really don't know. You know, they're very split over this whole thing. All right. So one promising model proposed in 2023 described the inner core that in the past had spun faster than the earth itself, but now it was spinning slower. For a while, scientists reported the core's rotation matched the earth spin. 
Then it slowed even more until the core was moving backwards relative to the fluid layers around it. At the time, some scientists cautioned that more data was needed to bolster this conclusion. And now another team of scientists have delivered compelling new evidence for this hypothesis about the inner core rotation rate. Research published on June 12th in the Journal of Nature not only confirms the core slowed down, it supports that in 2023, a proposal that the core decelerated is part of a decades long pattern of slowing down and speeding up. The new findings also confirm that the changes in rotational speed follow a 70 year cycle. And this is what one of the scientists is saying. We've been arguing about this for 20 years. I think this nails it. I think we've ended the debate on whether the inner core moves and what's been its pattern for the last couple of decades. So right now they said the core is actually moving backwards, you know, and they're not going to know everything about this planet because the most high don't want them to know and they won't know plain and simple. These changes, he knows what all these changes are. They will never fully know or fully understand. This is not their earth anyway. It was not made for their sake. So y'all, you're going to have to tell me what you think. I, I think it has some meaning. You know, I don't know exactly what, but we know we're in the times where things are changing. And that would also include the earth. The physical earth itself is going through physical changes as well. In these last days. I'm sure there's a lot of things and creatures on the planet it would love to expel. But y'all, you're going to have to tell me what you think about this one. You know, I never thought about something like this happening, you know, and then we have all these um, earthquakes going on on the East Coast. You know, I, I think like a week or two, there was uh, another one. No, I think it was a week ago. Another one hit New York. Now, where I am, I didn't feel anything. But it did make the news that New York was hit with another earthquake. So, y'all, please tell me what you think about this video. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.